Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and today on Growing Wisdom, how to grow carrots in containers. So one of the most important things about growing carrots in containers is to not let the container get too wet. I've discovered over the years that a well-drained soil is very important. This particular container is 14 inches wide. We can get quite a bit of carrots in there because it's 27 inches long. I'm about to show you how to plant the carrots in the container. We've already prepared the soil. We've added some organic soil and some organic fertilizer. So we're going to get a few close-ups now so you can see exactly how I'm doing this. So depending on how aggressive you want to be, you can get three or four rows in this particular container. So watch what I'm going to do. We're going to, I've got my, this is actually just a label here, and I like to use that label to make my little row. Now carrot seeds are very tiny, and they do not need to be planted, nor should they be planted very deep, only about a half an inch deep. So today I'm going to put in four different varieties of carrots just for fun. I'm using uh, something called Sugar Snacks, another carrot called Early Mocum, another carrot that is called Bolero, and another carrot that's Deep Purple. And these particular carrots are from Johnny's. You can try any of your favorite carrot varieties in a container. I like to label the rows so I know which carrot is which and also to check the germination of my seeds because sometimes I'll use seeds for one, perhaps even two years after I buy them. So carrot seeds are extremely tiny and you can get some carrot seeds which are treated. As you can see, these seeds have been treated and they're a unique green color. And that makes them a little bit easier to handle. There are little tools where you can plant the carrot seeds, you can do it by hand. Now because this is such a small area and I'm not farming carrots, I am going to do them by hand. If you're planting 100 foot rows, you probably want to use a tool rather than do it this way. So when I plant my carrots, again, because this is such a small container, I can really get in the exact spacing I want. Now, I might space them a tiny bit closer together in case I want to thin them. I generally like to have my carrots about an inch apart. I find that that works real well for harvesting. If you've gotten your seeds damp or dirty, do not put them back in the package. One of the things that is really bad for seeds is heat and moisture. And then I just gently cover the seeds up. Remember, a quarter to a half inch deep. You just sort of pinch and then pack it down. And then we'll gently water this when we're done. Now this is a self-watering container, but I'm going to gently spray it until the seedlings germinate. I'll plant one more row for you. So another thing you can do is you can make a little V with your packet and just sort of tap it and the seeds will kind of come out one by one. That's another great way to plant them. I got between 25 and 30 seeds per row. So if you think about that, we've got four rows. Let's put it at 24 to make it easy. So that's two, four, six, eight dozen carrots. That's pretty good, and then you add in the others. We've got quite a number of carrots in one container. We'll get over eight dozen carrots out of this little area. We certainly don't need a big garden to enjoy those delicious carrots. For Going Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.